Hey, what's up everyone? This is Nick, and today we're taking a look at another collectible. This is the Godzilla 1998 head bust by Bed Inside Studios. So this is from a third-party company in uh, Thailand that makes kaiju uh, statues and collectibles based off of Godzilla uh, and Gamera primarily. So back in, I want to say, July 2021, I saw on social media they had posted an image of this fully painted version of their Godzilla 1998 bust, and I pre-ordered one. And you can look them up, just then inside studios on uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, anywhere on social media you can find them. And they were really good at communicating with me and giving me updates throughout the whole process as they were working on this. You had the option to pre-order one unpainted, uh, or you could order one that was already pre-assembled and painted. I chose the latter. Um, I consider myself to be somewhat artistically inclined, however, I really just don't have the time to tackle a project like this, so I, I chose the pre-assembled, pre-painted one. Uh, and like I said, I pre-ordered it back in July, and now it's uh, almost March of uh, 2022 so it, it was a little bit of a wait but uh, there's a lot of work that went into this and um, it, it's definitely worth the wait really really happy to have it it has a good amount of weight to it however it's not too heavy I'm not afraid to put it on one of my shelves I'd say it weighs about the same as like the Palisades Alien Queen bust or one of the other Palisades ones just for reference. So uh, the Godzilla 1998 design is very controversial. Uh, generally, it's not a very well-regarded film amongst both fans and the general audience and critics alike. I really like it. I have a lot of nostalgia for that film. I think I was only four years old when that movie came out, so I remember really, really liking it. Looking back on it, I can understand why a lot of other people don't particularly like it. I still like it. I think it's a very fun film. I really, really love the Godzilla design in that film. It was designed by uh, Patrick Totopoulos, who designed the alien creatures from the Independence Day movie. And then when Roland Emmerich took up the mantle to make a Godzilla film, he brought uh, Patrick Totopoulos onto the project to redesign a sleeker, uh, more realistic Godzilla. And I've always really, really appreciated his design. I like the very prominent lower jaw and exaggerated chin that they gave it. Uh, I like the eagle eyes that he has, and of course uh, the overall reptilian iguana uh, type of appearance to it. Uh, and of course there was all kinds of merchandise released um, for that movie, uh, but really since then there haven't been any um, collectibles related to that film, uh, particularly adult-oriented statues, high-end figures, collectibles, things like that. Now, X Plus did release a uh, day for real of their um, Godzilla 1998 interpretation. Uh, so, really, as of a couple years ago, this was the only way to get any kind of uh, high detailed, higher end um, representation of Godzilla 1998. Other than that, you really just have the Trendmasters figures, which were more geared towards kids from the 90s. And I still have some of those, but again, those are really just toys. They're not anything you generally keep on display. Um, so here, um, this is, again, a third-party representation. And there are a few other third-party um, projects out there related to Godzilla 1998, but I think this is the best looking of them. Uh, I think it was the best value. And again, I was really impressed with Ben Inside's uh, professionalism and the way they communicated with me. And it also came um, really well packaged as well. There wasn't like packaging like you would typically expect. It was just in styrofoam bubble wrap within your standard shipping box. Uh, here are some of the documents that were in it. 
This is like a peel off sticker, I think. And then there's assembly instructions. I didn't have to do any assembly. I'm assuming the assembly is for if you get the unpainted version, which you can see right there. So obviously the sculpt uh, looked really, really good in the images, but it looks even better in hand. Uh, when I first saw the prototype images, it really looked like it was inspired by Godzilla 1998, but something looked slightly off. Now that I have this in hand and I'm seeing the final product, I can really see how it is 100% the Godzilla 1998 design just jumping right off of the screen. Really, really incredible. You look at it from any angle and it is exactly like what we saw in the film. The paintwork is absolutely beautiful. I really don't think that I could have done a paint job like this, so I'm glad I got the pre-painted version. Obviously saved myself a lot of time and money and hassle here. And again, this is just very, very high quality. This is movie studio uh, quality here. Really incredible. I think if I had to give one mild criticism is that on the back end here, um, there's a lot of residual resin or polystone or whatever they used here for clay. Um, and I, I would have liked if that was like sanded down and uh, a little bit cleaner back there. Um, but they did sign the bust in there, been inside studios, and they also signed it under here as well. So very, very nice. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is just incredible to finally have. Again, it was a long wait, but it was well worth it. And uh, really happy to have something like this. I'm hoping that one day X Plus or SH Monster Arts or somebody does uh, a really nice full body figure of the Godzilla 1998 design. There's a lot of fans like myself that were 90s kids that have an attachment to that design. And I know it would sell very well. Um, but until then, it is really incredible to have this. Uh, this is definitely the centerpiece of my kaiju display now, and uh, really, really just blown away by it. So I would highly recommend picking up this from Ben Inside, um, or any of their other kaiju-related collectibles, especially if you're a fan of Godzilla or Gamera. Again, third party out there uh, operating out of Thailand, but they are very trustworthy. Um, very reliable, and again, uh, incredible communication and uh, quality control here. So if you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys around. Thank you. Goodbye.